Hi guys, Mike here. Uh, today, I finally have access to my battle box, Mission 42. Uh, so, if you're unfamiliar, Battle Box is a monthly subscription box uh, that comes in four different tiers. The Basic, the Advanced, the Pro, and the Pro Plus. And the Pro Plus is the top tier and it comes with uh, everything in the other boxes and the Knife of the Month. Uh, and this is the Pro Plus, Mission 42. So, I have no idea what the theme of this box is. It's always a mystery unless you spoil it for yourself. Uh, so, I'll be learning what's in here along with you guys. So the box this time is kind of small. Sometimes they can be as big as or even bigger than the table that this is on. Uh, so first I'm going to open up and we're going to take a look at the card that's inside of it. That'll let us know uh, what the theme is. And we'll go in order of uh, what's in the basic, the advanced, the pro, and the pro plus. So crack it open. Uh, this theme is tracking box, but uh, if I had to guess, this has to do with uh, wilderness tracking. So let's start off with, uh, I'll try and go in order here, but uh, in order to go in order, I might be digging around a bit here. So let's see. So first item on our list is the SAS Tracking Handbook by Barry Davies. Uh, and the retail on that is $12.99. So, tracking originated with man's need for food. He needed to understand what he was following and what the rewards would be if he was successful. Little has changed over time about the terms of tracking. We still track game for sport and food. We've also found other uses for tracking. So, yeah, I was right. This appears to be basically a SAS guide on wilderness tracking, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you see my EDC teardown, you know I always keep some reading material with me. I think this will be my next, uh, my next bit of reading material I'll carry with me. So next on the list is the UST Learn and Live tracking cards. So that is these guys here. That has a retail value of $3.99. And it appears to be a bunch of cards that have uh, tracking tips. So, common animal footprints for identification, along with interesting facts and a photo. So, these are pretty neat, actually. They're fairly small. They look waterproof. So, this looks like something I can stuff in my, my bug out bag without taking up any additional volume or uh, weight. Not bad. That's actually an interesting thing to have. Uh, next thing on the list is the Animal Tracks Casting Kit. So if we pop that open, it looks like some sort of plaster cast that you can use to cast uh, animal tracks for identification. Uh, not going to lie, I don't really have a use for this, but for those of you who might be into that sort of thing, uh, you have that at your disposal. And that goes for $9.50. Uh, next thing on the list is the Wazoo Tracking Field Kit. Uh, which is this thing here. Animal Tracks Bandana designed and illustrated by industry experts. So, I'm going to crack this open real quick. I see. So what it is, is it's a bandana that has different animal footprints for identification on it. Which is pretty interesting, actually. I probably will opt to have the cards in my kit. But it also comes with this uh, snap, snap belt thing. Uh, that also has a uh, ruler on it. So what I might actually use this ruler for is keeping my shamak in my bug bag bunched together. Yeah, that's that little bad boy. Oh, it just curls back up. And that goes for fourteen dollars. The last thing in our basic box is the fire tracks with reflective trail markers. 
All right, so it says that it's supposed to come with the fire tax reflective trail markers, uh, but instead it appears to have this all weather notebook, which is not on the list. So uh, this might be a replacement for the Canadian uh, version of the kit, but uh, instead of the ref fire tracks reflective trail markers, it comes with an all weather notebook, uh, which means it's uh, pretty much waterproof. So you can keep it out with you in uh, pretty much any condition. I actually already have one of these in my kit. Uh, so this one might actually go maybe in my EDC kit. So the fire tax reflective trail markers were supposed to go for $4.50. This is probably an equivalent substitution. So that's it for the basic box, which has a, a $44.98 value. So now we're moving on to the advanced box. Uh, there's two items in the advanced box. Uh, first thing is the Barska Lucid 8x21 binoculars, which are these bad boys here. So I actually don't have a pair of binoculars. So I'm sure I'll find somewhere for these to live. I'm not sure where though. Maybe my, my bug out bag, or maybe I might start working on an inch bag. Come on. Yeah, nice old uh, pair of binoculars there. Eight by twenty-one, three hundred and eighty-three feet by a thousand yards, and those retail for fourteen ninety-nine. It even comes with a little case I can put them in. I'm not going to lie, $14.99 for a pair of binoculars seems a little on the cheap side, so I don't expect these to live a, a long time. But they are small, and they should be useful in some, some manner. So next thing on the list is the BattleTac Dual Flagging Tape Dispenser, which appears to be this bad boy here. So it comes in a pouch. So let's open it up and see what we got in there. So it's got some uh, trail marking tape on it. Uh, comes with, it looks like yellow and then orange and a little divider in there to keep them separate. And it's got uh, molly weave on the pouch. So if you're going hiking and you want to mark some trails um, or uh, game trails, you have that at your disposal. And the retail on that is $19.99. So that's it for the advanced box, which had a value of $79.96. Now we go to the pro box, which has three items. So we have the uh, we have the Nightshade 520 uh, HL tracking headlamp. And it just looks like a simple little tan headlamp. And retail on this bad boy is $44.95. That's actually a pretty pricey headlamp. So I'll probably replace the one in my bug up bag with this, this one. All right, next up on the list is a Survival first tracking kit, which looks like this gigantic bad boy right here. Let's crack open the plastic and see what's actually in there. So it's got a nice hard case. I don't actually know what's in here, so let's crack it open. Oh, hi. So this looks like almost an entire uh, tracking kit. So we've got more uh, trail tape. We've got a compass in there. We've got, I uh, don't know what, I, what that is. So let's crack this open bit by bit and see what we got in here. Oh, it's a measuring tape. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So we got a little measuring tape in there. I've been wanting one for my EDC and now I think I have one. Go figure. We've got this. I have no idea what this is, so we're about to find out. 
Oh, it's a little, uh, it's a little flashlight. A little tiny flashlight. I don't know what kind of batteries it takes. Looks like uh, triple A's. So you'll find out why I said that in a minute. Yeah, I've got that little flashlight in there. We've got a what looks like a series of little uh, flags they can post in the ground for marking trails, animal tracks, or uh, whatever you identify that's not easily visible that you want to draw attention to. We've got what looks like a marker. Yeah, it's just a tiny little sharpie. We've got a what appears to be a signaling mirror. Surprise, you're being filmed on a GoPro. Another all-weather notebook. Man, I've got like a million of these things now. Although, apparently it was not very well packed because it looks like it got attacked by a squirrel or something. So that's, that's a waste of my time and money right there. And that's about it for that. And the retail on that bad boy is $24.95. And to be honest, this will probably be cannibalized and split up between my bug out bag and my EDC bag. And that was the Pro uh, box at a value of $149.86. And because we got the Pro Plus, it also comes with the knife of the month. So the knife of this month is from Topps Knives. It comes with some sort of certificate of manufacture and authenticity, which appears to be a little belt knife. And it's called the Topps Knives Tom Brown Tracker. All right, so it's a little, little belt knife. It's got a tan coating on it. Some weird serration. I've never honestly seen this kind of knife before. It's a very thick knife, I'll give it that. And it looks it looks like it wouldn't be too hard to keep sharp. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the way that serration dips down like that. It looks pretty sharp and it comes with a nice uh, kydex sheath. So I'm not too sure where this knife fits into my tool set yet, but I'll keep this handy. And the value on this uh, is $120. And the total value of the Pro Plus box is $269.86. And that's it for the box. Uh, there is one last thing that I forgot to cover that uh, came in the box. And that's uh, four AAA batteries. And I'm assuming that these are for the headlamp and the mini uh, flashlight you saw in the uh, survival tracking kit. So on a scale of 1 to 10 for uh, usability for me, I'd say it rated at, a, at about a 6 or a 6.5. There's some stuff in here that I would use, but honestly some of the other stuff in here, uh, especially the overall theme of tracking, is not something I'm overly into or educated in. I'll keep the stuff around in case uh, I need it once I become more educated on uh, animal tracking. But most of the stuff in here is going to be split between my bug out bag, my EDC kit, and then the rest of it will be honestly stored away uh, for future use. But uh, Thanks for watching. This is my first Battle Box unboxing. I hope to stay subscribed to the service and do more in the future. Uh, this one was substantially delayed. I actually only got it today, the day of filming, uh, which was the 16th. But uh, yeah, check out some of my other videos. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that other nonsense I have to pass to you guys about. And thanks for watching.